I went to medical school at Loma Linda University, which is predominantly an Adventist vegetarian school in Southern California. And I was raised vegetarian, and on paper, my diet was perfect. It was low in animal products and low in saturated fat and low in cholesterol, lots of whole grains. And I wasn't particularly healthy, so I really didn't think that diet impacted health very much. And when I went to medical school, we were taught that diet really wasn't that important and most of the chronic diseases we were seeing were genetic. I've been seeing patients for about 20 years, and this is maybe 100 patients a week, 50 weeks a year, 20 years, 100,000 patient encounters. I see this whole spectrum of patients in my clinic. I see this huge difference between perfect health and horrible health. And honestly, when it comes right down to it, the only difference between these two people is diet and exercise. They are working so hard. They're going to the gym. They're running on the treadmill for an hour. They eat red meat once a month. They hardly ever eat eggs. It's just whole grain everything, low fat everything. They're getting nowhere. They're overweight. Every year they gain a pound. Every year their blood sugar is a little bit higher. Body composition is getting worse. Blood pressure is going up. And these people are trying. They're really putting in some effort. And they've got nothing to show about it. Everybody's gaining a pound a year and they end up 30 pounds overweight. That's the entire country at this point. 52% of adult Americans are pre-diabetic or diabetic. So insulin resistance is a huge epidemic, and this is something I'm dealing with every single day. I was used to everyone getting sicker and sicker, gaining weight, and one day this patient came in, and he had actually gotten better. He, he lost 30 pounds, and his blood sugar was lower, and he felt good. And, and I was really impressed and I said, how did you pull this off? And he handed me a copy of this Dr. Atkins book and he said, oh, I just read this book and I stopped eating carbs and now my blood sugar is fine. That really impressed me and that was the first time that it really clicked for me that you could make this simple dietary change and have some major health outcome as a result. And uh, from that moment on, I have been researching diet and its effects on health. A lot of this is driven by carbohydrate intake. When you eat carbohydrates, non-fiber digestible carbohydrates, you get a huge spike of blood sugar and you get a really huge spike of insulin that's usually out of proportion to the nutrients or the calories that you just ate. And this insulin drives fat storage and signals that you're in the fed state so you should be storing all your calories as fat. So if you eat a bunch of carbohydrates and you eat a bunch of fat with it, all this fat ends up getting stored, and if you're eating carbohydrates all day long, all the time, along with fat, you're constantly storing fat and you're never burning fat, and now your blood sugar is high all the time. This unfortunately increases your risk for every bad thing you could name, from heart attacks and strokes and cancers and Alzheimer's and pretty much all of our major chronic degenerative diseases. So we have patients in our clinic literally curing type 2 diabetes with diet and exercise, specifically low carbohydrate paleo diets. These people are coming off their meds, they're normalizing their blood sugar, they're losing weight, and we have this on a regular basis. 